Hello, and thanks for joining me today. I'm going to be speaking about and reading you about Matthew 6 and starting in verse 9. This is the model prayer that we model our prayers after. I want to read it to us today. Let's start with verse 9. That's where the prayer starts. He said, after this manner, therefore pray, our Father, first acknowledge the Father, who you're praying to, first in your prayer. That's why I always say, God, in the name of Jesus Christ. That's how you start out a prayer. So our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Holy is your name, God. Your kingdom come, your will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Now, if God's will is done, on earth. Earth is going to be like heaven. We are going to live in heaven. Here on earth, if we have God's way. But if we have it our way, we're going to live in hell on earth. Get it? Okay, very simple. Your kingdom come. Your will be done in earth as it is in heaven. We're missing out somewhere. Do y'all know where? I do. Give us this day our daily bread, which to me is the word of God. You've got to start out with the word of God. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Now, I did a whole video on this one sentence. And you can go back and listen to it. And lead us not into temptation. In other words, God, pull us back from temptation. We're tempted, but you can pull us back. But deliver us from evil, for yours is the kingdom. This earth belongs to the Lord and not Satan. Although you would say Satan is the God of this world. That's a sad thing. Satan didn't create this world. How did he become the God of this world? Hmm? I wonder. Okay. But deliver us from evil, for yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. For if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. I've done a video on that. But if you forgive not me and their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive you. I did a video on that. Go back and watch it. So, our Father, direct your prayer to God. You're not praying to Jesus. You're not praying to the Holy Spirit. You are praying to God the Father in the name of Jesus Christ.
We are to look to the Lord for sustenance, both natural and spiritual. He calls it our daily bread. The Lord gives it. The Lord gives it. Help us not to be led into testing. The idea is, in my self-confidence, which stems from the flesh and not the spirit, please do not allow me to be led into temptation, for I will surely fail. But deliver us, listen, 